Hey, Julia, it's Matt with Search Strategy, and we've been in business since 2009. And what I'd like to show you is how you can outrank these folks here, Landscape by Design, for this buyer intent keyword of Landscape Design, Fort Worth, Texas. Now, I may be a little bit farther than you want to go, but it said you were in the, the Metroplex. So I picked that keyword. Uh, it gets 140 searches a month. And so... Um, it's a really important keyword to come up for. Uh, there's a couple places that you can, can try to rank for. There's this map pack area, which may be a little bit harder because you're a little bit further out, but we definitely want to get you here in this organic search area, which is, and this is all Main Street. So um, if you can't come up in the map uh, here in Fort Worth, we can find other places closer to home that you can do that. Um, but this is certainly Main Street we want to come up for. So let me tell you how you can do that. And first, uh, just want to give you a little bit of feedback on the site. And I want to talk about content talk about backlinks and I also want to talk about citations and what that all means. So um, first, the site. I love this image. I mean, it just looks really awesome and peaceful. And uh, I think it's really good. And I, it's very clear what you do, design, construct, maintain. So um, really good. And I like that you have a, a click to call right there. I don't want to ruin this picture, but I also at the same time think there'd be great to have a button here of some variety. It says uh, either click to call or um, or fill out a form, something along those lines. And now I like what you do here. You've got um, your mission, your service, all of this is good stuff. Uh, and it kind of gives you a little bit. It's pretty um Minimal, which is f fine by me in terms of uh, the user experience, but uh, Google loves content. So the more content you can put on this uh, site, the better, uh, even up to as much as 1,500 words, depending on the level of competition. So this, this is... Yeah, this is relatively well it's relatively easy to come up for uh, and you want to look at your competitors and what they have so they've got some content on here they probably have six seven hundred words you could probably get away with a thousand words on here just to try and outrank them and just talk about your services and you talk about where you do them um that's that's it in a nutshell and when you do that you'll have the opportunity to talk about these keywords like landscape design uh, Fort Worth is one of the options, and there's other cities, obviously. Um, but again, great picture. Really love it. Um, so there's that. And then also here at the top here, this is your title tag. This is actually the first place that Google looks when they come to your website. So they see that, and they say landscape services, YTL. It doesn't tell them a whole lot. Uh, it would be better if you put uh, landscape services uh, or landscape design Fort Worth area or, or or whatever cities that you want to be coming up in, whichever one's got the highest amount of volume, and tell them explicitly where you want to be shown. That's kind of the whole point of this, uh, is to really tell Google what, what you want them to show you for. All right, so there's that. Uh, and then your competitor doesn't have so much content. So, um, yeah, all good. And I do like all the, the services and everything that you got here. So um, next thing I would um, mention to you is to um, our backlinks and what are backlinks that's anytime you have one website linking from their website to your website so it's a bit of a popularity contest uh, the more people you have linking to you the better um, or websites and so uh, Google sees this and says all right well um, they've got 19 different websites at this point we're gonna, and with 23 links, we're going to show them a little bit maybe behind somebody else who's got more. So you definitely want to keep those coming. Uh, the best kind are local, relevant. Uh, it could be other businesses. It could be newspapers. It could be um, government agencies, educational institutions. Anybody who's got a website basically and it is somewhat relevant to you in your area are the best ones. Um, a lot of spammy ones out there don't really help you a whole lot if they're just from random places with no real connection to you. All right, so let's see, you got 58 organic searches a month that's showing, and it's mostly branded, which tells me you're really popular in the area, which I love. Uh, so you definitely want to continue to get that happening. Uh, but there's maybe an opportunity to come up for some of these more buyer intent keywords or the ones where people have their hands raised. So these folks, landscapebydesign.com, have 249 different websites linking to them, a thousand total backlinks. And this is really what's important is, you know, how much traffic they're getting and what kind of traffic it is. So they're getting 308 organic searches a month. And so there's their 
uh, landscape by design, that's their name, but then there's landscape design Fort Worth. For number one, they get a portion of their uh, traffic there, and then they get landscaping stonework or Fort, Fort Worth landscape design. They're getting some traffic there. So it all adds up. And for every 100 visits you get to your website, 10% of them will turn into a lead, and then a couple of those will turn into a customer. So really, every time you get 100 buyer uh, visits from buyer intent keywords, it's really impactful for you. So you definitely want to do that. Um, all right, so the last thing I want to talk about are these, uh, uh, the Google Map Pack and how to get there, uh, potentially. Um, you need to get a lot of what are called citations. That's your name, your address, and your phone number as it appears in your uh, Google Business Profile. Let me hear if I see if I can find it. YTL, uh, West Lake, Texas. All right, let's see if we come up here. All right, there you are. So you... Uh, you take all this information and you spread it into the directories like Angie's List and Better Business Bureau and Expertise.com and Yellow Pages, and there's so many of them out there. Uh, and so if your competitors here have uh, uh, you know, 25, 30 citations, you want to get 50. Uh, you definitely just want to outdo them. You also want to continue to add photos on a regular basis. And um, you've added some, but you definitely want to add more. And you want, you want to tell Google exactly where you're doing that work. And you also want to continue to get reviews. The more reviews, the better. Uh, five stars, of course. Um, and so that, that's really important. So if I do that here, let's just see if you, I think you might have come up in West Lake. Or, uh, yeah, you come up there, which is great in that town. But you want to like, spread out that radius um, and continue to to stay in that area but also in other areas where there's a lot of traffic so at any rate um, between the the content the backlinks and continuing to grow your business, google business profile uh, you can see yourself getting a lot of traffic so anyway julie thanks for letting me send this along i hope this is helpful and if you have any questions please let me know and we'll talk soon all right bye-bye